Howdy, everybody. My name's John Brightstar. Me and my daddy are gonna teach you all the ways of the Wild West. Look! Do you think it's lost? Looks like Megan's rustling your cowboy. We saw this horse when we were riding today. Do you think it might be a stray? The horse's name is Bell. A phantom horse who roams the countryside. They say anyone who tries to tame her will be cursed. Only Bell can choose the rider to replace her beloved first owner. That's supposed to be the mysterious phantom horse? Veronica! You're probably cursed. What? You followed Stevie when she went after the phantom horse. I think being lovesick has eaten away your brain. Well, how come you're covered in an itchy red rash and I'm fine? <gasps> Say hello to the newest member of the Pine Hollow family. Stevie, can I get a picture of you and, um, Belle? So that's where you got to. Well, is she going to be OK? I'm not going to lie to you. It looks as if Belle's had a rough time of it. Meaning? Well, as near as I can say, she was probably once a trained saddle horse. But as a result of neglect, she's malnourished, her feet haven't been trimmed for months, her teeth need floating. And did you see the scabby patches on her back and neck? They're probably rain rot. But she's going to be OK, though, isn't she? With time and a lot of love and attention. You think you can handle that? Of course I can. <laughs> How could anyone have abandoned such a beautiful horse? It must have been a monster. Stephanie Lake, a longtime rider at Pine Hollow Stables, says finding Belle was like a dream come true. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Stephanie, have I got a surprise for you? I wish you didn't have to go home. <laughs> Me too. At least you didn't babble about him so much when he was here. I hope he writes to me. Can he write? Why do you say that? Well, he can't talk properly. You were so hard on my boyfriends. I've had better conversations with my horse. <sighs> oh, I hate this. Scratch my back, Christy, please. Where are you going? Get back here! Christy, I need you. Hey, Comanche, look at Belle. Doesn't she look beautiful now? All clipped and clean. Don't forget, he likes <laughs> apples and jelly beans, but no... Black ones, yeah, I know. You've only told me like a million times. Sorry. Have a good ride. You miss Comanche, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird seeing him with another rider. It's okay. <laughs> What's wrong? It's the saddle. It's okay. Everything's okay. I'll turn her out, put her in the paddock, and let her run for a while. Christy, would you wait up? My mom's getting me tickets to the big concert at the Coliseum. Want to come? Are they good seats? Please, where else would I sit? I bet we can get backstage passes too. What? What happened? I tripped, Brainiac. How? Help me up and I'll draw you a diagram. <sighs> These old things are too big for me. What happened to your new boots? I lost one of them. Where? It wouldn't be lost if I knew where. You see, you shouldn't hang out with these hicks. Your IQ's through the floor. The tripping and the boots, I think they're related. 
Well, duh, I just said that. No, it's the curse. We agreed not to mention that again. It's ridiculous. <sighs> I know I've been kind of busy with Belly, but I'll make it up to you. How about we go for a nice long run on the beach? Stevie, quick, it's Belle. Hi, Christy. John, why are you here? Oh, Max arranged for me to stay while Dad's in hospital. Fantastic. Where's your accent? And your clothes. Oh, that's all part of the show. You know, at the Western Clinic. <laughs> this is me. That's amazing. I mean, that's cool. <sighs> Red's been trying to bring her back to the barn. I've been trying to bring her in for half an hour. She keeps running away. Check this out. Oh. Has anyone seen a very expensive leather riding boot? In... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, man. Smack between your eyes. <laughs> Veronica, wait! I have to talk to you. You can't leave me alone with him. Mm. Mm. I thought you liked him. So did I. I thought he was cool and romantic, shh, shh. but now that I'm getting to know him, he's just a big fat geek. Uh -huh. It's okay. <laughs> to worry about. We just need to get you home, okay? Trust me, no one's going to hurt you. Way to go, Stevie. Did you see that? Oh, that was excellent. Hope you guys are taking notes. Nothing. It's just... Oh, never mind. Okay. Ow! It's the curse of the phantom horse. What do you mean, Veronica? Belle, she's cursed. Ever since I scared away that dumb mule, I can't do anything right. I lost a boot. I trip over things that aren't there and poison ivy. That hardly sounds catastrophic. Well, what about the concert tickets? My mum always gets me front row seats at the Coliseum, and this time she tells me she can't even get me in the door. I see, and you think this is because of a curse? Well, what else could it be? Life? Veronica, <laughs> there's no such thing as a curse. I hate these stupid no, no, boots. Don't get so angry, Veronica. Luck doesn't come to angry people. But the 
whole world's against me. That's not true. The world's a good place. And the boot will come back when you deserve it. <laughs> you okay? I just saw the most amazing thing. What was that? I saw Stevie with Belle just now. And they were joined somehow, eye to eye, by something so strong. Hello? Anyone there? Yeah. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Where can I find Stephanie Lake? <laughs> Poor Belle. She's so afraid of everyone. I don't even want to think what made her so scared of people. Whatever it was, she's safe now. That's her. Stevie, this is uh, Chelsea Owens. She thinks Belle is her missing horse. She can't be. Well, look at the brand. There's no mistaking it. That's my blackie. Her name's Belle. And how do we know she's not the one who abandoned her? Well, this is the police report that I filed when the horse was stolen. Well, she's mine now. I found her. Stevie, I'm sorry. No! Maybe she was yours before, but she didn't choose you. She chose me. Stevie, maybe we should go into Max's office and... No! Listen, thank you for looking after her. I appreciate it, but I'd like to take my horse home now, if you don't mind. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do, Stevie. This horse legally belongs to Miss Owens. Belle's really gone. Maybe Chelsea will let you visit Belle. I don't want to visit her. I want Belle here with me all the time. At least Chelsea seems to love Belle and treats her well. Do you think? Blackie, let's get you back in your sleep. <laughs> Don't do this to me. You've been doing this all morning. <laughs> oh, stupid horse! Come back here, you rotten nag! And it's all my fault. If I hadn't written that article. Oh, you can't blame yourself. Chelsea legally owns that horse. She has every right to take her. There's nothing we can do about it. I guess. At least Stevie's still got Comanche, right? Well, yes and, uh, no. I told Sam he could ride Comanche in lessons. Oh, no. Well, it was time Sam moved to a more advanced horse. I thought Stevie had Belle. I mean, she can still ride Comanche, just not as much as she used to. There has to be another horse that Sam can ride. Well, I don't think it'll make Stevie any happier. She's got to get over Belle first. I have to do something. I have to find some way to make it up to him. Like what? Make some phone calls. How will that help? Christy! Christy, you in here? Oh, there you are, Christy. Oh. Didn't you hear me calling you? Oh, I guess I was daydreaming. So, I bet we have a lot in common. What do you like to do? Oh, lots of stuff. Riding, mountain biking, and there's my drums. <laughs> right, how could I forget about your drums? I'm gonna teach you everything I know about the Western Quarter Horse. <sighs> Get why you brought me here. You'll see. Chelsea! What are you doing here? We came to see Belle. I mean, Blackie. Stevie wanted to say goodbye. Where is she? Oh, don't look at me. She broke out of a paddock and ran off. 
Why didn't you go after her? Oh, that mare's crazy. She could have trampled me. She's just scared. And who could blame her after all she's been through? Belle! Stevie, it's white. What's happening? Shh. Christy, where are you? Hey, is that John Brightstar? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's visiting for the weekend. He's been looking all over for you. Me? It sounded like he was looking for you. Sure, because I told him I'd look for you. That's right, he can't stop talking about you. Megan this and Megan that. I think he likes you. You said he was leading me on. I was just checking him out, making sure he was good enough for you. You deserve the best, and that's John. Do you know much about Western Quarter Horses? <laughs> no. Perfect. So anyway, it's called the Western Quarter Horse, because in Kentucky, they used to race a quarter mile. <laughs> a quarter mile, quarter horse, get it? <laughs> a quarter mile, you get it? It's a good one, yeah. <laughs> but you see, it's totally different from dolphins, right? Well, it's not use. That horse is long gone. No, she's not. Belle's around here somewhere. She's just hiding, that's all. She's scared. Belle! Come on, Belle! It's okay, it's me. I won't hurt you. Come on, Stevie, she could be anywhere. <laughs> Belle! Belle! Now, that mare's wild. There's no telling what she'll do. Stevie, be careful. It's okay. Whoa, it's okay. Thanks for catching Blackie for me. Her name's Belle. Not Blackie, what an awful name. It's my horse. I'll call her anything I please. And you can get off my property right now. Both of you. I think you should give Belle to the girl. They belong together. Who asked your opinion? I'm a journalist. I'd give it anyway. You're trespassing. I'm calling the police. Well, I'm sure that they'll be interested in my opinion about your run of bad luck. What is it now? Um, four horses stolen in a row. But then there's that good luck of those insurance payouts. Why, well, I bet you've actually got a form with Blackie's name on it half filled out already. If the police aren't interested in my opinion, I'm sure that my readers will be. Come on, Stevie. Let's go. John, going home so soon? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm needed back on the farm. Um, look, I, I just... Look, I think you're really nice and everything, and, and, um... You just want to be friends? Well, do you think you'll be okay with that? I'll get over it someday. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Christy. Bye, Veronica. He dumped you for her? I set it up. There is something wrong with you, Veronica. Accept it. No luck. Mrs. Reg, do you ever think that the whole world's against you? Everything has a reason behind it. I've done nothing to deserve all this bad luck. Have you considered that the world isn't against you? It's you against yourself. 
You want everything to be perfect, including yourself. <laughs> Leave that for heaven. It's not going to happen here. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Reg. Your boot. Looks like your luck's changing already. five-star restaurant? It's more like five billion stars. You know that story you told about Belle? Is it true? Well, John and his dad say it is. And they spend time up in the mountains. They've seen Belle quite a few times. Have you seen her? No. I haven't. But you believe it? Even though you've never seen it? Well, nothing is true if you don't believe it. I can't believe you just said that. And me sitting right next to you. You're so full of surprises. Cool. I know. It was so great to see her one last time. Do you think Belle will remember me? Why don't you ask her if you so? <laughs> what are you doing here? Did something happen to Belle? Is she all right? She's fine. Remember you said a horse has to choose its owner. Well, it looks like Belle's made her choice. You. Now, I want you to go and tell that journalist woman what I've done. Deborah. Yep. Why? Her opinion is important to me. you know because I've got Belle but that doesn't mean I don't love you you guys are gonna love each other Won't you open up the door and Hello. let me 